accepted in the male-dominated automotive industry. <laughs> um, always having to prove yourself to overcome the boundaries. Working late every night to make an impact. Her tenacity <laughs> and knowledge and communication skills have paid off. It's great to see her so excited every time on Today Show or CNBC calls. They all love her. She's always giving much more than her clients, friends, or family would accept. The, the phone never stops ringing, late at night or even on vacation. Having to find a, CN, having to find a CNN or Fox affiliate for a last-minute satellite, satellite coupling in the middle of nowhere. Or needing dead silence in the house to co-host a radio show or interview. She is always spotted at the most random places, and we always hear, okay, that's the car lady. I love hearing that one, and seeing my mom's reaction. I don't ever, I don't think there's ever a normal day. But somehow, we are able to sit down for her dinner as a family. I'm proud of my mother and what she has accomplished. I wouldn't trade her for anyone in the world, my mom more. Believe it or not, they don't pay you to be 
piano from, it's the exposure you get that leads you to other things. Um, that led to a show on the DIY network, which ran for four years and three award winning books and more national appearances and endorsements than I actually imagined. I never knew that it would lead to those kind of things. Uh, my next step um, includes a jewelry line, which I'm working on with car parts. What else? I'm always wearing something car <laughs> Uh, and also, uh, more international speaking events. I've recently been able to speak in other countries, which has been really neat, because there's a lot of women that it's totally different for them than it is here in the U.S. And I'm working with WNED here in town for a PBS national fundraiser, so I'm glad to be able to donate my time to help educate as many people as possible and fundraise for another great cause. And Shelby did say I work a lot of crazy hours, so. Most people call me and go, what city are you in? They say, hello, what city are you in? Um, any of my friends do that. They also say, did you, uh, what, what did you send that email? It was like 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, that's me. I go to bed at crazy times. It's the best time to write, by the way, in the middle of the night. But for me, I was always glad to help women improve their lives. And I like seeing the excitement when they realize that they're in control. That's really what it's all about. And I'm sure that each of you can say the same. We often have an extremely pleasant feeling of satisfaction from helping people improve themselves. Though we all deal in different spheres of our lives, we have something in common. It is our striving to be better, to help others as we all succeed. And I'm glad I can say this. I am so blessed to stand in front of you tonight and receive this award. I need to especially thank my husband, Paul, and my two young teenagers, uh, Shelby and my son, Paul III, and the rest of my family that's here tonight and my close friends who have always been there to support me. Sometimes they've rolled their eyes, and sometimes they <laughs> just shake their heads. I'm not sure they're laughing, but it's like, ah, okay. But either way, they've all stood behind me and supported me, and I thank you all very much. And um, you never know where the road will take you, but the journey has been exciting, and I'll continue to offer good karma, which I spell with a C, to all of you drivers out there, and I thank you so much for this wonderful award.